Hello and welcome to seminar six, which is analyze with surgical precision. Um, so in academic writing, um, this is the place where people often fall down. They they can do really well in, in other bits of their writing, but the analysis um, is often lacking or superficial. <clears throat> and um, And it's often because we don't really understand what it means. So by the end of this lecture, which is two hours condensed into 10 minutes, uh, you should have a really good idea of what it is, um, why, why we want to see it and how you can do it. So let's go. So some of the things that we look for in an academic piece of writing, these are in no particular order, is referencing so the purpose of that which which um, there'll be a bit more of in another video but um, the purpose of referencing is to show that you're aware of other people's ideas so um, academic writing is very much about community knowledge not just what you think but what the other people who have been researching this for years um, who have um, differing ideas about the same topic um, showing that you understand the, the the different ideas that are around and and so you use referencing to show that you you refer to the different people who have ideas about the topic that you are writing about and then that's linked to your subject knowledge so again when we're reading your assignment we're looking for does this person really understand the topic that we're talking about so if we're talking about um CV writing, does this person really understand the purpose of a CV, the different ways that you could approach it? So the the depth of your knowledge is, is what we're looking for. Um, third, and this is this is what we're talking about today, is analysis. And like I said, this is something that, that quite a few people, um, this is what I used to not understand at all. Uh, I had to teach myself what this meant. Uh, uh, yeah, so we're going to go over what that is um, today. So it's how you use other people's ideas and what you do with them. This next one, um, you don't always include this in academic writing, but you are going to for this assignment that you've set that we've set for you. So it's your personal experience. We're asking you to talk about your experience. That's not always true um, for an academic piece of writing. You might just be looking at other people's ideas. But in this one, we really want to know um, how you're using the ideas from the lectures in your own life. And finally, just making sure that it looks nice. Um, you know, does it, does it have nice paragraphs? Um, is this the kind of standard of writing that we could confidently say this person is good to go now um, if we put you in the workplace tomorrow then then your employers could trust you to write a report um, and so on so just can you make it look nice can you make yourself clearly understood so let's get on to the analysis bit so my question is, what's the number one reason people go to the doctor every year? Um, this was made um, before the coronavirus outbreak. So um, uh, I, I don't know if this answer has changed, but let's just go with it. So um, until very recently, the number one pe um, reason why people went to the doctor every year was musculoskeletal pain or in other words just muscle and bone pain so back pain um, uh, sort of aches and th things like that um, my my reason the last time I went to the doctor which is quite a long time ago was um, was because I have two slip discs in my neck and what that means is that sometimes um, sometimes it's it causes enormous pain so the next question is what's the solution so given that uh, sometimes the discs in my neck move and then it gives me a huge migraine and i can't do anything um, what's the solution to that so i'm going to tell you some solutions that people uh, offered to me and suggested um, i've used almost all of these 
so heat and ice heat I've used because it's nice but ice just sounds awful so <laughs> so I haven't tried that yet rest just uh yeah well one time I had to literally just lie down on the ground for a whole day um, my dog thought I was really weird um but but nothing else would work um yoga as well um so if I don't do yoga three four times a week usually uh usually my neck starts hurting ah oh, one of my favorites massage acupuncture I've tried once medication, therapy, and surgery. And um, so apart from just looking at these this number of different solutions, and, and the point is that um, there's not a right or wrong answer. One of these answers might be perfect for one person and awful for another person or they might be good in one situation and not in another. So medication, I, I want to avoid medication, but if the pain is really extreme and I have something important to do, I need the pain to go away quickly, and medication does that. Um, equally, you know, if I've got more time, I want to go for a massage, and <laughs> that's, that's much nicer. So the solution is dependent on lots of different uh, factors, and those are things for you to think about. And another question that is really useful to ask yourself is who would give these solutions? So you're not only looking at different solutions and which one might be the best in a, in a certain situation for a certain person, but also who would give these solutions and how might that affect the effectiveness of what they're suggesting? So for example, a surgeon might... Uh, might say surgery is the best option because that's what they know um, but they don't necessarily know about the other possibilities and maybe some of the others would be less drastic would be less risky um, and and so you look at who is giving me this solution and what might be missing from the information that they have Academic writing is like a pain in your neck. It's a problem. Academic writing is often about a problem and we're trying to solve that problem or at least come up with lots of different solutions and look at how effective each solution might be. And so your job is to make the pain go away. So we're going to start with a problem and you're going to bring up lots of solutions to make that pain go away. So the way to do that is to describe the problem very clearly. Um, what a lot of people do is uh, they, they get a bit panicky when they have to write academic, um, academic writing. And so they'll go, I have to write about communication. And they write everything they know about um, communication. And they don't focus on the problem. So by describing the problem very clearly from the very beginning of your piece of writing, it helps you to really stay focused um, am I describing solutions to a problem or am I just um, brain dumping everything I know? So start with um, describing the problem very clearly. The way I recommend to do this is word it as a question. Um, so often when you're given an assignment title, it's just a kind of statement um, but a question br your brain likes questions because it, it it clicks into gear it goes okay let me try to find an answer to this question so even if the assignment title isn't a question to begin with t try to turn it into one so I would personally take your assignment title and say something like this How can I become a more employable person? That's the problem that we're trying to solve in your assignment. And so every week what we're doing is looking at different ways for you to become a more employable person. And what this is going to help you to do is really structure your assignment nicely. And I would suggest that your assignment feels like this or, or looks a bit like this. 
So what you'll have is, is your problem at the centre. The problem is how can I become more employable? How can I, can I become a better student? And you're going to pick a few solutions to that problem. One way is I'm going to write my CV differently. So that might be the red dot. How am I going to write my CV better? That might help me to get a better job. And you'll talk about CVs, you'll talk about all the different ways that you can do it, the things that you've learned, how you've learned it, and that's going to be the red dot. And then you're going to move on to a next, your next um, uh, topic, um, the next solution to this problem, and it might be covering letters, so that might be the purple dot. And you're going to talk all about covering letters, what you've learned, how you've learned it, how it applies to your life and your situation and so on and the blue dot might be presentation skills uh, and again you'll talk about that solution what are the pros of some of the advice you've ge been given what are the cons what what do um, the experts say about it and so this is now going to feel like a really um uh, kind of comprehensive piece of writing. I've got your problem in the middle, I'm really clear what your problem is, and then lots of different solutions and how those solutions may or may not work. And so finally, one more piece of advice for you. So we're going to start again with the question, how can I become more employable? And apart from just using your own ideas um, and talking about what you think and also what you learnt from your lectures. We also talked about consulting the, um, the experts and this is where your referencing comes in. So this is what one expert says, 10 years ago the economy wanted you to fit in. It paid you well to fit in and it took care of you if you fit in. Now, like it or not, the world wants something different from you. So you need to ask yourself a few few questions about this. Number one, who said it? It's really important that you don't um, that your writing doesn't suggest that you were the one who said this. Uh, so you have to make sure that you uh, tell us who said it. And it was Seth Godin. And uh, so, so if you like what he says, then you can use it. Or even if you don't like it, because you're going to answer this question. Do you agree or disagree? So do you agree that if you were trying to get a job 10 years ago, um, then if you were just like everyone else, had the same skills, had the same profile, that's great. You would be able to get a job. But now we need something completely different. We need to be different. We need to bring different skills. We need to bring our personality in. We need to bring the things about ourselves that are, are not the same as everyone else. So do you agree or disagree? And you might say, I agree um, for some industries, but not for others. So this would probably be accurate for creative industries, but not for my industry. My industry is um, manufacturing and, and it's, not, it's not accurate for my industry. That's analysis. You're saying he's offering a solution. It works in this situation, but not in this one. And then you'll say, I can use this in my own work or I can't use this in my own work. That's analysis. You're taking a solution to the problem. How do I become um, more employable? This is what Seth Godin says. And I agree with him for some people, but not for me. Um, or this probably works in America, but it wouldn't work so well in the UK. So that's a way of using um, his solution to analyze it, to look at the pros and cons. So hopefully you've got a bit of an idea of how to analyse, um, how to analyse a problem, bring in lots of solutions, talk about those solutions, what are the pros, what are the cons, um, would they work in your situation, would they work in someone else's situation, uh, and I look forward to seeing that. So well done and I'll see you next time.